Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, it's pretty rainy today here in Corpus. It's been raining probably for about 12 hours straight now. So I'm not gonna get to do any work in the yard today. So I decided to post some footage that I recorded last weekend working in the lawn. It's about lawn disease and a simple way to treat it uh, thanks bird simple way to treat it without chemicals so here it goes whenever you guys have an area that you suspect may have a disease step one is always going to be to check for webworms or grubs in the lawn it's pretty easy to check if you have grubs just take a little shovel or a spade and dig up a section it's a little easier to dig if you wet the ground first, such as I did. And you just start examining the soil. And you're looking for any of those tiny little grubs. Typically developed from Japanese beetles. I'm checking this section here and I'm not finding any. This is about a 12 by 12 square section. I'm not finding any here. Obviously I've got very clay, very, very clay soil. It's that Corpus Christi clay. Um, so I'm gonna figure out a different solution. Um, so it's probably not grubs. So if it's not grubs, maybe brown patch, maybe take all root rot. So we just checked to see if there are grub worms. We didn't find any. Next step, probably to treat it for some type of disease or fungus. When you go to treat your lawn for a disease or fungus, you've got two options for the most part. One is apply a fungicide, spraying more chemicals on your lawn. Two, secret old organic option, sphagnum peat moss. Throw some peat moss on there first. It's a lot easier, a lot cheaper and see how the lawn responds. I have found that for the price, the Scott's Premium Topsoil Lawn and Garden Soil Conditioner is the best option in my experience so far. Um, I mean, you're looking at a three cubic feet of peat moss is $12 at Home Depot. Three quarter cubic feet of uh, organic matter and sphagnum peat and moss is two dollars. You're getting more bang for your buck with this. It's topsoil and peat moss mixed together. Let's see how it does. Well, that was quick. Holy smokes! All done. We spread that Scott's topsoil lightly, kind of thin, a little heavier in the middle here around a couple spots. And we're gonna follow up, see how the peat moss does in this section of the lawn. I know some of the yellowing in the lawn is caused from the image 24D that I applied. The lawn was already weak over here. So I shouldn't have applied it over here, but I did. So some of that yellowing is caused from that, but the brown dead stuff that was present, that's been going on for a little while. So hopefully this kind of revives it and gives it a fresh start. So I chose to use peat moss or a derivative of peat moss to treat my lawn disease today because I didn't really want to spray more chemicals on the lawn. And I've read in several articles from my local AgriLife Extension 
that peat moss can help with lawn disease. So I want to give it a shot. I want to see how it does and I want to check on the progress and see what peat moss will do for my lawn. If you've been keeping up with my lawn updates, it is time to throw down the Lorganite either this week or next. I've got plans next weekend, so guess what? It's time to throw her down. Scott's topsoil with peat moss in it. Um, it actually looks a little bit better a week later. And that's the spot that I dug to check for grubs. Um, the grass looks okay. I think it's gonna make it. Um, I'm gonna give it another week or two before I decide to try out some product, some chemicals, some propiconazole. Um, on it and see if that'll help boost it a little bit as well. So we'll give it a little bit of time. I just want to try this first, obviously, like I said in the video from last week, because uh, I'm not so keen on throwing chemicals all the time. I'd like to try to treat it in other ways as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Don's Lawns One.